the Minnesota Timberwolves completely ruined my whole playoff bracket. Welcome again, guys, to another special edition of I So Sports. And on this episode of I So Sports, I am going to be talking about the second round of the 2024 NBA playoffs. So let's get started. For the most part, my round one predictions were correct. I have Boston in five, the Knicks in seven, the the Pacers in six, the Cavs in six, OKC in five, the the Nuggets in six, and I have the Mavs in seven games. Um, some of the, the cases, I, I got some of the, the games in which they would get it done wrong, but for the most part, I got everything pretty much right. But see, here's the issue. The Minnesota Timberwolves completely ruined my whole playoff bracket. I would like to apologize right now to Minnesota. I want to apologize to Anthony Edwards. I want to apologize to Rudy Gobert. I want to apologize to Jaden McDaniels because not only did they beat the Suns, where I predicted they would lose in seven games, they actually swept the Suns. And then they proceeded to try to do the same thing against the Nuggets before Denver came roaring back and won three games in a row. But for six games to start off the NBA playoffs, I watched a Minnesota defense turn 2024 basketball into 2000s NBA basketball with full court pressure rim protection timely trapping physical play and effort with a tenaciousness and a force that i hadn't witnessed in years maybe even ever in their first six games of the playoffs the wolves not only went undefeated they held their opponents to under 100 points four times and only won games by single digits twice in that time for the first three games of the sun series Jaden mcdaniels and the wolves held all-star Devin Booker to 14 points a game on terrible efficiency. And even early in the Timberwolves and Nuggets series, we seen these guys bother the great Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, and the defending champ Denver Nuggets, an offense that I remember saying was unstoppable, that couldn't be shaken. We saw them get shaken up to the point where people were thinking that it was going to be a sweep. And after watching what the, what the they did to the defending champs and, and the first two games, I mean, it was very hard to argue with them. It looked like the Nuggets couldn't match the physicality. There were times where Jamal Murray could not bring the ball past half court. He was so frustrated. He was throwing heating pads on the floor doing live play. He was throwing things at the at the referees. The coach of the Denver Nuggets was screaming and cursing in the referee's face. He was trying to get thrown out of the game. And guess what the ref said? Hey, you better stay here and catch this ass of it, big dog. They got embarrassed. And while we're talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves, let's talk about Anthony Edwards. 31, 6, and 6 during the playoffs, three 40-point games. The efficiency of true shooting is eight points higher than the league average. And it's actually even it's further than eight points higher than his regular season mark. He's been sensational getting to the basket, the mid-range game, and having the three ball fall with regularity. He's really been dominant. And on the defensive side of the ball, he's really been taking that challenge to go and guard some of these guys. But as dominant as they had been defensively this postseason, the Nuggets found a way to turn the series around, to get back into their offensive rhythm, and they've won three games straight. The Celtics, they're a game away from the conference finals, and again, they really haven't had much issues. I, I really can't talk about the Celtics because they haven't really played anybody that can push them. I mean, the two games that they lost against 
the Heat and the Cavs. They're games that they shouldn't have lost. Just bad shooting nights or just miraculous shooting nights by the other team. So, I mean, the Celtics are fine. I mean, Jason Tatum has been struggling with efficiency. But even with him struggling with being efficient, they're still 3-1 up on the Cavs. And in the next round, they'll probably play the Knicks, who they've played great to this point, but they're also injured. Players keep falling down and getting hurt by the minute because, I mean, their coach don't know how to not play people. I mean, God, give somebody a break for a second. But no, they, they just play. He's playing guys 44, 45, 46 minutes a game. It's ridiculous. And if the, the Pacers do win, yeah, they're healthy. The Pacers ain't played no defense since the season started. So I don't see the, the, the Celtics having any issue with either of those teams. So they probably won't even lose two games before they get to the finals. The Knicks should be commended. They've overcame the, the shortcomings of their coach. This man has never made an offense easier for any of his offensive stars. Yeah, he teaches defense, but he also has good defenders. Tom Thibodeau ruins players. He plays them way too many minutes. I mean, that's just what he does. But the Knicks have played well. Jalen Brunson has been amazing this whole playoffs. He's had multiple 40 point games. He's had that, that arena rocking. So, you know what? Much love to the Knicks, uh, but they probably, I do believe they will beat the Pacers in this series. They will close it out on seven on their home floor because they are now up 3-2. Um, the Pacers just, I just don't believe in them. They don't play enough defense. They haven't been around long enough. And Tyrese Hall Halliburton, their star, can get taken out of games if it gets too physical. Last but not least, the, the Mavs and the Thunder. Now, Luka has been hobbled all series, and they still have a tied series. OKC has been a really good team so far during the playoffs and SJ, SGA has showed up and been the MVP candidate that we know and love however this is an entertaining series but just a bit inconsequential in my opinion I think the real conference finals and for that matter the real championship will be the Wolves and the Nuggets whoever wins that that series will win the whole thing in my opinion so Mavs, OKC, whoever wants to lose in the next round, I mean, go right ahead. I, I, I don't really care. Good good for them. Luka's amazing. SGA is amazing. But they both don't have a chance of getting past the next round. So, you know, have fun, guys.